Hello, my name is Andy. I am the Village Idiot. Welcome to the South End on Sea Roundup video. Okay, so this video is actually going to be quite long considering the fact it's only got one parish in this district, and that was Lee on Sea. Now, I got quite a lot of information, a page and a half, no less, which I've annotated. Uh, and I'm going to try and work my way through this and give you some more information about Leon C. This video was fantastically popular. It's got nearly 2,000 views on YouTube. It is by far uh, my best video today. Uh, you guys in Leon C clearly do like living uh, in your town. Um, so I'm gonna do my best to decipher some of this information that you gave me. This is the South End on Sea Roundup video. All right, so uh, a lot of people said that my video was a great summary of the town, but there are some things I did miss. Now, the one thing that people said I missed, bar none, this was the thing that came up the most, was the cockle sheds. So I had to do a little bit of research into this because, because I knew nothing about the cockle sheds. Uh, and when you guys mentioned it, it was the first time I'd heard of it. Um, so basically, uh, the cockle sheds are to do with Osborne Brothers. Okay, so this is in the heart of Old Lee, uh, along the main street, as it were. Uh, and it's a cafe. Uh, the cafe is housed in the heart of the old town in an 18th century stable and mews, which was used to house horses and carriages delivering to the local public house, the Crooked Billet. Now we did see uh, the Crooked Billet in the video. The cockle sheds and smokehouse are located along Cockle Shed Row, which remains largely unchanged since being built in the 19th century. All of this is uh, according to leonc.com, which will be linked in the description. Osborne Brothers specializes in producing and supplying quality shellfish and fish to individuals and trade customers around the world. So it's obviously quite a, um, an important part of Lee's history. I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't film that actually um, because it would have been uh, it would have been nice to include that because it seems to be the one thing that you Leon C locals um, seem to be the most proud of. Right, moving on. So in the video, the TVI asked the locals part, asked you guys what the big building was in the scaffolding. Uh, that said 1899 on it. Now a lot of people responded to this and I'm glad to say that nobody um, nobody sort of disagreed with everybody. You all gave me the same answer. So the 1899 building was originally a hotel which was named the Leon C Family and Commercial Hotel but then it became the Grand Hotel. In later years it remained partly in use as a hotel but mainly a pub and a venue that was used for music gigs and private functions. After several years of lying unused, it was purchased by the late Mick Norcross from Towie, the only way is Essex. After a lot of controversy and several planning applications, uh, it's been converted into self-contained flats. I thought in the video it may have been like a cinema. Um, it was never a cinema. However, uh, there were two cinemas within a, about 100 yards of this building. Those are both long gone. Right, with regards to the churchyard, okay, so in the churchyard, uh, there is a Dunkirk memorial, uh, which remembers the crew of the cockle boat Renown, uh, who lost their lives uh, rescuing troops from the beaches of Dunkirk. There's also a flag uh, in the north aisle of the church that was given by the town of Dunkirk. Uh, and while we're on the subject of flags, you remember in the video, I filmed a flag on the um, seafront, as it were, and I said that that was to do with Lee Sailing Club. Um, turns out it's actually not. Uh, that flag was in fact the logo of Leon C Town Council. Right, staying with the seafront, um, you will have maybe have noticed uh, in one of the shots there was a big grey ship. Uh, and that is the HMS Wilton. Now that apparently is the first warship to have been built of glass reinforced plastic. That's an interesting fact. Absolutely, um, and that stands uh, on, on the uh, the wharf, the harbour front as it were. Where that's located is actually the Essex Yacht Club. Um, I mentioned Lee Sailing Club in the video. That does exist, but it's not in the place that I said it was. Uh, that's actually in the old railway station, which is just behind the Mayflower Pub. And while we're on the subject of the Mayflower Pub, yes, the Mayflower does indeed um, have a link to the Mayflower that we have seen before in videos up here in Doncaster. Yes, it's to do with the separatists. Um, so the Mayflower, so a bit of information about that. The Mayflower pub gets its name from the Mayflower, uh, the, the ship which took the settlers to America, because uh, it stopped off at Lee on the way. Right, so Old Lee has featured it on the TV quite a, a number of times. Um, EastEnders have uh, filmed there quite a lot of times, filming outside the Peterboat. 
um, and it's also been the setting uh, for one of the uh, Waking the Dead stories according to one commenter. Now kind of at the beginning of the video I was walking down that long path along the seafront. That path has got a name that's called the Cinder Path and to get to the Cinder Path I had to walk over that that uh, curly bridge. Quite a number of people uh, responded to this. Uh, that bridge has got a name too. It's called the Gypsy Bridge, but it's also more colloquially known as the Curly Whirly Bridge for obvious reasons. So me calling it the Curvy Bridge was actually almost right. I nearly got it right. Uh, but yeah, it's the Curly Whirly Bridge or the Gypsy Bridge. Okay, sticking with the seafront, uh, I didn't mention Lee Regatta. That's held every September. Uh, but of course COVID at the moment is uh, playing havoc with that so it didn't happen last year probably not looking good this year even though it's only a couple of months away uh, but yeah uh, Lee Regatta is uh, something that I didn't mention in the video I want to also mention Shortwell Station um, when I was walking down to the seafront I was walking over the bridge and I filmed Shortwell Station from a, a very long way away um, one commenter uh, said that Shortwell Station is more West Cliff on Sea as opposed to Leon Sea um, if you look at the parish boundaries, the uh, the line, as it were, goes, for some reason, I don't know why it does this, it, it, it comes out and around Shortwell Station to include it within Leon C. It's bonkers, if you ask me, because it is, it is more Westcliff than it is Lee. Uh, but for some reason, I don't know why, the parish boundary uh, covers Shortwell Station and it belongs to Leon C. Um, so technically speaking, there are two railway stations, like I said in the video. Um, so yeah it doesn't make any sense um, Southland Council are actually quite uh, good at changing parish boundaries though apparently so uh, it may have been part of Westcliff at some point I don't know uh, but if, if you search it on Google Maps certainly Chalkwell Station does lie within the parish boundaries so uh, yeah there are two stations within Leon Sea. Okay I'm moving away uh, from the seafront uh, Belfair's Woods uh, has a sculpture trail and a woodland centre which hosts a lot of events uh, including nature groups for children. That is I think pretty much, I'm just having a quick look down my information, I don't think there's anything else really to talk about with Leon C. I think I've pretty much covered it all but the amazing thing about uh, all of this is this is just one civil parish. I know it's a big town uh, or medium sized town but even so the amount of information that you guys, the Lee locals, gave me about your little slice of Essex is fantastic. Um, and I would strongly recommend anyone who's never been to Leon C, um, seriously go. It's it's a lovely little place and I enjoyed walking around it so much. Um, it was an overcast day, but it did it did warm up eventually. Um, so uh, yeah, it's it's well worth the trip if you're if you've never been there before. And of course, it's the only civil parish within South End on Sea. So that's pretty much it for the entire district. One parish and one district of Essex down. There are 12 others within the county. One of which, of course, is Canby Island. And I have the information for that to make that roundup video. That will be coming in a couple of days time. But for now, this has been the roundup video for South End on Sea. And I've been the village idiot. And I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.